And before we go any further with working up the logo in Illustrator, let's have a quick look at fonts. Um, so I've got a page open here in Illustrator, and I'm just going to type in a word. So I'm going to type in font, and I've already put it in Arial, but you can swap the font here to whatever you've got on your machine. And then probably the simplest thing is we can change the weight of that font. Um, and you've probably done this before, so you could have regular, bold, bold italic, or normal italic. Now depending what you font you choose, you might have other different weights. So if I look, for example, in my fonts, I've got Helvetica New here, I've got loads of different weights. Uh, I've got really thin, light, ultra light, I think that one's called. Um, so yeah, there's also condensed versions of the typeface, so it will all depend what typeface you're using. But let's go back to Arial regular for now. So one of the things we need to decide with our logo design is if we're going to use a serif or a sans serif font. So if I just copy this here, and I'll make this times, okay, you can see that times has these little tiny, I don't know what you'd call them, sort of twiddly bits, they're actually called serifs. So that is called a serif typeface. Whereas there's nothing on this one, Arial, so that's a sans serif typeface. Um, often people now use sans serifs, I'd say, a lot more predominantly because it's it's modern, but no doubt things will change again. Um, a serifs are often better if you want to do a lot of type. Um, so, for example, things like newspapers will tend to use a serif face um, as you can pack more in and it's supposed to be more readable when you have large chunks of text. Now we should also take a look at spacing, which is also known as tracking, and kerning to see what differences they can make to a word. Now spacing is basically when you apply extra space between each of the letters on your word, but it will be uh, applied across all of the letters. So if we take a look here on this Illustrator panel, um, this is where you apply the tracking. So I'm going to put in 200 just there, and you can see how extra space is applied between each letter. Um, you can often see this done on things like perfume packaging or when, when someone wants to make something look expensive, you quite often put um, extra tracking. Um, let's put that back to normal. Okay, back to naught. Now, another thing we can do is, say for example, I don't like the space just between two letters. It's like the relationship between the O and the N. Uh, well, that would be kerning. And what we do is go over to here. And this is where you set the kerning in Illustrator. So I'm going to apply, say, minus 30. And you can see how that tightens up the space between the O and the N. Another thing we should take a quick look at is leading. And leading is the space between lines of text. And we can alter that in Illustrator on this little panel here. And I can just take that down with a little arrow. Or I can type in, so I can increase that. By typing in there or using the arrows to increase it as well. 